so uh, what uh, we are going to discuss is the cuts bone cuts made uh, in the total maxillectomy now uh, the outer cuts are actually pretty easy to make because uh, there are preformed suture lines uh, the more important cut is the one which we have to do intra or bitally right uh, now uh, the first cut which uh, we might have to discuss is the one uh, which we have to take in this uh, frontal suture line for nasofrontal suture line uh, this is very preformed suture line and we can uh, make uh, this cut with the osteotome uh, the only thing which we might inquire dangerous out here is uh, the angular vein uh, we have to see the most important part actually in the osteotomy would be to see this is the frontoethmoid suture line this this is the front of my suture line and we cannot go above it as you can see that if we go above this front to it might suture line this would with my suture line corresponds to the cribriform plate so if we go above it we are going to have we are going to enter the inter anterior cranial fossa and we can have some csf leak so we have to avoid this now uh how do you basically identify this frontoethmoid suture line is by uh, when we have uh, elevated the orbital contents from um, from the orbit uh, we would be able to see these two holes now these two holes correspond to the uh, entrance of the anterior and the posterior ethmoidal artery the anterior ethmoidal artery ideally has to be ligated so uh, we have to uh, mark or uh, form a landmark so that we have to do our osteotomy below this line this is the front ethmoid suture line right and we have to clip the anterior ethmoidal artery the posterior ethmoidal artery can be left because this also serves as a landmark for this optic canal which transmits the optic nerve so if you want to save the orbit or the globe we have to identify this posterior ethmoidal um, artery and remain in uh, anterior to it and the curve our osteotome uh, uh, curve our osteotomy or osteotome downwards towards this suture line which is the inferior orbital fissure you can see the inferior orbital fissure here clearly this is the inferior orbital fissure and uh, this would be the posterior ethmoidal artery this is the anterior ethmoidal artery for amena and this is the inferior orbital fissure this is the superior orbital fissure now we have to curve our um, osteotome and uh, take our osteotomy like this so as to serve uh, save the optic now uh, the other um, osteotomy which we have to make is in this area uh, we can use giggly saw because we have uh, we will be uh, we will be elevating the orbital contents till up, uh, almost up till here the suture line so uh, we can insert a giggly's uh, wire here uh, take it out from here and then uh, by thorough motion of the giggly's uh, saw wire we can uh, make this osteotomy or we can use an osteotome to cut it like this first osteotomy and then another osteotomy in the zygoma so uh, this whole segment will get separated now what i have told you is the whole this whole part is getting separated this from here 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 this whole part is getting separated so we have separated the lateral the um, in um, uh, inferior lateral the inferior uh, the medial uh, the end hole of the medial part now the other osteotomy which is more important is the lower one the towards the palate what we have to do is we this is the area of the hard palate and this is the area of the uh, this is from area where, from where the soft palate starts we have to in, uh, take the mucosal incision from here down till the level of the soft palate separate the soft palate from the hard palate and take the incision towards this maxillary tuberosity this is the maxillary tuberosity this is the these are the pterygoid plates these are the pterygoid plates and we have to take our incision like this so we have to take the incision between the maxillary tuberosity and the pterygoid plates now uh, this uh, whole uh, osteotomy can be done with the, an osteotome or a uh, giggly saw if uh, possible uh, i would prefer uh, using a, a, a giggly wire uh, here right now the last now the whole of this segment is separate now the last part which we have to do is to separate this maxillary tuberosity from the pterygoid plate all we have to do is we have to take a curved osteotome place it here 
uh, strike three or four times and this gets separate as you can see uh, it's quite uh, separatable there is no firm uh, attachment between these two the only problem which probably arises is this pterygomaxillary fissure. This is the pterygomaxillary fissure. You can see that this is the pterygoid plate, this is the maxilla, so this is the pterygomaxillary fissure and from here the internal maxillary artery comes and inadherently and almost mandatorily this gets injured and if this gets injured, uh, we will have bleeding here and this has to be caught and uh, cauterized or uh, clamped or clipped, whatever we have to do, we'll do it afterwards in the end. So. This is, uh, these are the cuts for the maxillectomy. We are going to use the Weber Ferguson incision in this. Uh, uh, and if uh, we see that the um, malignancy is infiltrating the globe or the fat, we will do an orbital clearance. Now, orbital clearance is clearing the...